Maybe it would have helped you. Maybe it would increase your longevity. Maybe it'd be more effective. We talked about that earlier. Maybe it makes your brain better. If your life is improved, your relationships are better, you make more money, you're more effective as a human, your family life is better. You just, your overall quality of life. Talk to me a little bit about if somebody's looking at a full spectrum sauna, yeah. looking at infrared, they want to have they want to have everything, the whole shebang inside their inside their sauna. Mm-hmm. They want it to drive them around. Mm-hmm. Why would you not recommend kind of leaning towards that and doing a little bit more research on your own to find maybe better products to put in there or just are there alternatives to that? Like what would you do? So there is one case where the only full spectrum sauna that you should buy is a very specific brand and model with an add-on kit. Uh, and that would be a clear light, but it's a specific clear light model with, um, with the red light therapy add-on. And I'd have to make a separate video with a spectrometer to show you why most of the dealers, like that's a huge problem too. If you're interested in a clear light sauna, a lot of times you just pick up the phone and you get whoever not necessarily the best way to go because the person on the other end of the phone that works at a lot of these sauna companies has very often only used two saunas in their life. The sauna at the gym and the sauna at their house that the company that they work for gave them. So they're, they lack like seat of the pants, um, you know, knowledge or wisdom about the differences between the the cabins and stuff like that. If you need help with that, you can go to heal with heat or just email Jen at heal with heat.com tell her that you saw my video about full spectrum saunas and you want like the actual one and she won't feed you a bunch of mumbo jumbo and she might give you a discount if you give her my coupon code but that'll be in the facebook group if you're not in there go to facebook join certified sauna community and you can see a bunch of posts in there where we can respond with comments and people test like their sauna and they can post a picture because we can't provide that on youtube Uh, but the main thing is you, you shouldn't buy a full spectrum sauna thinking that you're going to get photobiomodulation as most people describe it in the PubMed studies. So the PubMed studies that people are referencing on low-level laser therapy, on near-infrared, on red light therapy, are specific wavelengths at a specific distance for a specific duration of time. A lot of times they have measurements for this. I don't want to make it too complicated. We'll have a separate red light therapy video that shows you these metrics. Um, but what happens is they get skewed when you're in a sauna for two reasons. Well, really three, but it's two main reasons. Number one is placement of the device. So when you're in a full spectrum sauna, the first thing that's going to happen is people will have different styles of far infrared heaters and tell you that you're going to get near infrared or mid infrared or whatever from these. The real workhorse in any infrared sauna is the far infrared wavelength, which would be like 3000 nanometers and up three to 10 or, you know, whatever depends on the configuration of that brand. When they start talking about the lower wavelengths, but then a portion of those wavelengths are missing, and then they feed you these studies, like all these benefits or the NASA stuff or whatever, those wavelengths are actually missing in a lot of the full spectrum saunas. But you wouldn't know that unless you had the equipment to check it. And so that's what we put in the Facebook group. That's what we made it. You came and helped me um, capture that. It's difficult to film because you have a second screen and you're moving around and, you know, like all this stuff. And when you call to buy a sauna, the people on the other end of the phone do not understand that in this great of detail. And so the part that the, the piece that we want to avoid is people that are willing to invest in their health. They're willing to spend the money, whatever their budget requires for them to get all the benefits. And they purchase something and it doesn't have the right wavelengths to give them both heat therapy and red light therapy because two separate things, red light therapy, near infrared, really doesn't contribute to your sweat or your heat therapy. It doesn't cause hypothermic reaction, which is heating the core temperature to the point that your body wants to cool down and then, you know, you sweat. You could sit in front of red light therapy devices all day long and you're never going to sweat. They don't, they don't produce that effect. To think that you have to have that in your sauna experience or part of your sauna experience uh, doesn't really align with the actual benefits behind the research of these. And sauna companies, salespeople that work at sauna companies aren't being policed on what they tell people. And so the worst thing that can happen is that you spend crazy amounts of money to get this fancy, you know, package. But then five years from now, you realize, oh, I've never actually experienced the benefits of 
both of those types of light therapy uh, because the sauna that I bought into doesn't actually produce it, yet the marketing makes it seem like it does. So because of that, not in every case, but because of that, a lot of times our default response to these questions without having context and being able to talk to somebody in great detail, and a lot of them may not want to understand it, right? They just want what they want. Okay, fine. But is to just get a full, a far infrared sauna, not full spectrum, and then get a separate red light therapy panel, because then you know that you're getting both. Red light therapy panel generally has its own power supply, its own heat sink, its own wavelengths. There's a reason that it takes that much power to to run that device by itself, and it's not just a little 50 LED panel that's added to the ceiling of a of an infrared sauna, and they call it chromotherapy or light therapy. That's not going to give you the, the ceiling like that with a little array is not going to give you the same therapeutic output as a body panel that has its own electronics and everything else. There's a reason for that. Everyone says, well, oh, Matt, you know, I only want to invest so much time per day into doing these things. I'm busy. I work full time. I have a family and da, 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 da. There is a case where the only full spectrum sauna that you should really be looking at buying uh, comes into play because you have companies like Sunlighten where they actually have red light therapy, near infrared arrays in the sauna. However, they're generally on three sides. They're behind the heater grill and they cycle on and off on a mode. And the reason that the cycling on and off on a mode, people think like somebody commented on one of my videos and they said, oh, you're just saying that because it's not on the whole time. No, that's not it. The real reason that that's an issue is that yes, they cycle on and off so that you don't overexpose yourself or you don't overdo the therapy or your length of exposure isn't too long. The other thing is when you're cycling, the next cycle, your body's superheated. Now you're covered in a thick layer of sweat. So now not only the light source is a small little array panel that's behind a grill that's only on three sides of the sauna that you can't adjust to target areas that you want, especially the chest and the front side, is now diminished even more because you have a thick layer of sweat, your core temp is high. I mean, look at the research. A lot of the companies that produce these full spectrum saunas, even the ones that don't have true red light therapy or near infrared in the lower wavelengths, they'll put like a patio heater or a quartz halogen, uh, you know, full spectrum, they call them full spectrum heater in the front of the sauna or somewhere else on the back wall. And they'll say that you get the lower uh, wavelengths. But when you test these on a spectrometer, they're missing everything from a thousand nanometers and down. Like you can literally see it on the screen when you correlate or when you cross-reference that to the PubMed research on all the studies, those aren't the wavelengths that are the primary drivers of a lot of the benefit. And so we usually just say, get a far infrared sauna, not a full spectrum setup, but get a red light body panel from a different company. And you know, you can put it in the sauna if you want, just use it while the sauna is preheating. Don't wait till you're already super hot and covered in sweat to try to get your red light therapy. It's best absorbed separate. Are there any um, like red light panels that you would recommend? Yeah, the Gemba Red are good. If you get in the Facebook group, I've got a bunch of posts in there. You know, the Radiant Hill saunas work great with the Gemba Red. If you pan down to the floor, show them the body, show them the vibration plate here, and then we'll do red light therapy while the sauna is uh, heating up. Uh, I choose to do it outside, but I combine these therapies to save time. I mean, everybody's about saving time. Um, but if you're, if you're really interested, we'll do a separate video because it's getting too long. But if you're really interested in a full spectrum sauna and combining the therapies, the only one that you should be looking at is a clear light sanctuary with the, it's going to be expensive with the red light therapy add on it's $1,500 just to add the light, but at least you get true red light therapy on the back of the glass that's facing you, which in my opinion is most important. Like if you were going to choose one angle of the body to get red light therapy on, it's going to be this, right? It's going to be systemic. It's not going to be a little bit on the side, a little bit on the side, a little bit on the back. It's going to be bang. And I've been against this for a long time. I'm finally caving because here's why. They come out with a stand. So if you want to use the red light therapy panel outside the sauna and do targeted therapy on the knees or whatever, because I'm not in agreement that a full spectrum sauna, even a clear light sanctuary with the red light therapy add-on is the best way to get the most benefit from these two therapies. Because, right, I'm sitting here. Where's the device mounted? How far away is that, right? And so your treatment length can't be adjusted for certain, like say I want to target the chest. Well, I'm at 24 inches, 30 inches, and there's no, you're not changing that, right? So there, to me, there's a trade-off. 
But if you are trying to save time and you do want a full spectrum sauna, the only thing that you should be looking at is the clear light sanctuary. It's in my opinion, it's the only fit where they're actually getting close to, okay, we get the right wavelengths, but the other heaters on the back of the glass, the full spectrum heaters that they call them, don't buy into those because those aren't giving you what you think you're, you're getting, which, and this is the whole issue that I've had for years. I mean, I'm, I'm finally coming around now. Um, but the whole issue that I've had is if you already bought a full spectrum sauna, cause this is how they, this is what this, the people say when you call to buy one, if you already bought a full spectrum sauna that has all the wavelengths that you need, why would you need to add a red light therapy kit to your full spectrum sauna that already has near mid and far? You know what I mean? So the whole premise of the, the full spectrum sauna drives me absolutely insane. Imagine you bought one three years ago, four years ago, there was no red light therapy add on. And now all of a sudden a company comes out with a red light therapy add on and you should buy it for your full spectrum sauna that you spent $2,500 more for than a different brand. Well, you're going to be scratching your head like, well, well, hold on now. I already spent the extra money to get a sauna that has all the wavelengths. Now I have to buy an accessory to get near infrared. I thought I already had near infrared, mm -hmm. right? So I think the biggest thing is I get frustrated with that because it's an education piece. It's, um, people are spending money on stuff when they don't really understand why or how it's going to affect their, you know, health or benefits. And the, the people that just take their money over the phone and process these orders, I mean, they're not, they're not educating them in a way to where it makes a meaningful difference in their life. And getting these two therapies down correctly can make a meaningful difference in your life. And so I think that's really important. I don't want five or 10 years to go, like, who cares about the $2,500 that you waste on some crap, spend it, spend it on extra sauna, get a full spectrum sauna, do whatever you want. Don't listen to any of this, <laughs> buy whatever brand you like, but don't let five or 10 years go by and never experience, like experience the difference or having both of the therapies when you think you do, and you already paid the money to get it. You know what I mean? Because that's the real downfall. Maybe it would have helped you. Maybe it would increase your longevity. Maybe you'd be more effective. We talked about that earlier. Maybe it makes your brain better. Maybe you're dealing with Lyme disease or this or that, and it, you know, it gives you a 30% reduction in, in symptoms, or I'm not saying that any of this equipment treats disease. I always see a doctor. We could have this medical disclaimer. I'm not a, I'm not a licensed physician. Please see one for medical advice. Um, yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. But uh, we see people every day getting benefit from, for all types of conditions. And I say benefit, not cure, treatment, whatever. We can't say that. I would never say that. Uh, just by using heat therapy, red light therapy, doing a few supplement protocols. We talk about those in the Facebook group. And nothing crazy, but this is like, you know, very good healing, habitual things to do in your life and improves your life. If your life is improved, your relationships are better. You make more money, you're more effective as a human. Your family life is better. You, you just, your overall quality of life so if there's something that you like from today's video or you're looking for more resources, at certifiedsaunas.com on the homepage, there's recommended sauna resources. If you're looking for a brand, a size, a model, reviews, installation videos on how to put them together. We have step-by-step -step tutorials that show you how to receive a sauna, how to prep your house for it. We're trying to make it as easy as possible for you so you don't have to wade through four hours of YouTube video to find the exact thing that you're looking for. But a lot of times in these episodes, I'll mention sauna hats, sauna accessories, different types of electrolyte supplements, if you want to put an infrared sauna in a cold basement or unheated garage, there's accessories or additional supplemental heat that you can add to it. If you continue down, you'll find everything that you're looking for that we've mentioned today. In addition to certifiedsaunas.com, you can go to the Facebook group, which is the Certified Sauna Community on Facebook. It's our sauna group. There's no hardcore pitching. There's thousands of members in there that offer really, really, really good advice. I learn from them every day. I'm also contributing and answering questions in there every day. In addition to that, you can go to the Amazon store. A lot of people have requested on where to buy sauna towels, sauna hats, different various supplements, minerals, electrolytes. Now we have all this in one place on various lists on this Amazon store. So you can go to this one link and everything will be right there for you. See you in the next video.